Hi, welcome back. This is the continuation of our introduction to ERP. Uh, and uh, in this uh, uh, presentation, we'll go over an example of how an ERP would uh, work in a business case scenario. So, so far we have seen uh, what an ERP uh, stands for and the need for an ERP and an overview of an ERP system. So now here, uh, in this um, business scenario, we have the, uh, the, corp, the, the entity, um, the make money corp, and then we have the vendor, which is the sell raw ink, which sells the raw materials, and we have the customer, which is buy finished corp, which buys the finished product. So the, the make money corp, which is uh, in the process of uh, buying the raw materials and uh, creates a product from the raw materials, uh, when the time the purchasing department of the make money corp uh, creates a purchase order based on what they need and sends that purchase order over to the sell raw ink the vendor now when the purchase order uh, is created and sent to the vendor it actually is uh, received uh, by the vendor and entered into the vendor's order management system so here you see the PO document or the purchasing document uh, that is created in one organization when it is received by the the other organization on the receiving end it actually becomes an a sales order right so very similar to when you're on amazon.com uh, you as a customer when you're um, when you're going and uh, placing an order on amazon.com when you finish your purchase you actually then before you confirm what you're confirming is it says here is your confirmed sales order or here is your sales order for confirmation right uh, so because you're actually creating that your purchase order with, within the vendor's uh, system it is calling it as the sales order which is a purchase order for you as an end uh, customer and in this case make money corp is the customer for the vendor here which is the sell raw ink right so once the uh, the the PO document when it's received and becomes a sales order, the vendor enters it into their uh, sales order system and uh, uh, they they process the order and and ship the the raw material um, to the to their customer in this case the Make Money Corp and uh, which is received by the receiving department of the Make Money Corp and updates the purchasing uh, department. Right now. The vendor on the vendor end the order management system once it fulfills their order it actually the order management system updates their receivable system because it's now they have fulfilled the obligation and it's time for them to collect the money so once uh, the order management system passes on the details to the AR system the AR system creates uh, an invoice for that customer and sends that invoice uh, AR invoice over to the make money corp now the AR invoice that is created in the sell raw ink organization when it is received by the make money corp it has actually entered into the payable system of the make money corp so here you again you see a document that is created in one system or um, in, in this case the AR system when it is received by the the customer of this vendor which is the make money corp in the situation it is entered into the payable system of that um, of the make money corps uh, ERP system so now in payables once the payables um, system uh, validates that particular invoice against an ex against an existing purchase order they would go and uh, pay uh, pay the vendor which again goes and updates uh, so the payment from AP is when it is sent to the vendor, uh, it goes and updates the AR system on the vendor uh, and clears the liability over there. So it clears the liability and they collect their money, the vendor. Now, the Make Money Corp, uh, once it got its raw materials, it goes and finishes off its purchasing, um, it, uh, uh, finishes its uh, uh, final product, which it uh, wants to sell to its customers. Now let's say a customer is interested in buying those finished products. So what does customer do? They raise a purchase order uh, and they send it to the Make Money Corp. Now in this case, the PO document from the customer's 
system when it is received by the make money corp it is actually entered into their it becomes a sales order which is entered into their order management system and uh, in this case let's say the uh, the make money corp uh, processes the system and fulfills the order by sending the finished product to the purchasing now once it processes the order it wants now it, it has to collect the money on this end so it sends that information a processed order it updates the receivables uh, which creates the customer information and raises an invoice for that customer. Now, uh, the AR uh, produces the bill and sends that bill over to the customer. Now, the AR invoice uh, from the Make Money Corp, when it is sent to the customer, uh, it becomes an AP invoice on the customer end, which again, it, uh, oops, it checks with its uh, uh, purchasing, uh, assuming that they have uh, so it, it checks the uh, the invoice that it received from the make money corp with their purchasing system to make sure it's a valid purchase or it, it the, the invoice corresponds to a valid purchase order and then it uh, once it makes the payment those payment gets updated in the AR system now as you can see here uh, the make money corp which is the organization which is in the process of buying the raw materials and selling a finished product on one end, it is it has a purchasing system which, when it creates a PO document, becomes a sales order in the uh, in the vendor system. And on the flip side, when the Make Money Corp is the vendor for its customer, the purchasing the PO that it receives from the customer becomes a sales order. And uh, similarly here, when the vendor sends an invoice to the Make Money Corp, uh, it becomes an AP invoice. Whereas on the flip side, when uh, the Make Money Corp processes its, uh, fulfills its uh, its customer's uh, sales uh, order, it, the invoice that it creates, the air invoice that it produces out of its system, becomes an AP invoice in the customer's uh, payable system. So uh, hopefully this kind of gave an uh, overview of uh, how uh, a particular type of document, when it is produced in one organization when it is how it kind of takes another form in uh, in the receiving organization